Hello everyone, welcome back to Fightage channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Had you heard the promoter of two-time World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua believed that his word is able to combine all the titles before he finished his career. I never wanted to put his career in the frame, but the other day he said, you know, I won box in 3-5 years. So maybe we will have a fight in December and then a couple of blockbusters the next year. I don't think he has a definite deadline, but he wants to fight Wilder and then fight Fury. And if he doesn't, he won't be satisfied with his opposition. I'm the biggest fan of Anthony Joshua and the kind of cider myself a believer. He knocks out Deontay Wilder and then knocks out Tyson Fury. He will become the absolute world champion and then he will sail off into the sunset. He didn't say it. The boxing world has not been happy lately with fruitful agreements about cool heavyweight fights. Despite the fact that for several months boxing fans were assured that the overripe duel between ex-champions Anthony Joshua and the Anti Wilder would still take place, boxing fans see everything perfectly. The who is still there? That is, a big super show in December in Saudi Arabia is no longer expected and if a knockout fight happens, it is still unknown when. Such concerns have already been confirmed by matchroom Sarah Frank Smith. In an interview, he stated that the Saudi Office of Skill Challenge apparently disappears as a negotiating party for such a fight. We have been negotiating with the Skill Challenge for a long time, but I think it is unlikely now that the negotiations with them will continue to arrange this fight. I still believe that all parties want to arrange this fight, including Anthony and Deontay, but I don't think the negotiations with the skill challenge will go any farther. Now we need to focus on making at least some fight Joshua, keep the pace. I hope we will have a news soon, the functionaries hate. Former world champion in the heavyweight division Andy Ruiz told against Worm he wants to hold the next fight. I'm interested in fighting Fury and Joshua. We can organize a trilogy with Anthony in the rematch with AJ. I did everything wrong. Then I almost did not prepare for the fight. It's amazing that I was able to hold out for 12 rounds at all. Joshua should have knocked me out. The next time I become a champion, I will do everything differently, the American said. No matter what anyone says, ex-UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou of Cameroon poses a danger to British Tyson Fury, according to the American supermoser Bob Arum. According to Bob, to a certain extent Ngannou can be compared with the American Deontay Wilder, who in the first fight against Fury twice managed to send the Briton to knockdowns. Yes, I think Ngannou can be compared to Wilder, Aaron said. Of course, Deontay has trained as a boxer all his life, so this comparison is in his favor. But in a fight with Ngannou, Fury still faces the same danger as in a fight with Wilder. Tyson has demonstrated resistance to such strong blows as Deontay's, the promoter noted. But please note that they were able to send him to the floor. So again, this fight may go differently if Tyson is not fully ready, Aaron said. As Talksport notes, in Saudi Arabia, the general directorate for entertainment, in which is holding the Tyson Fury and Francis Nagano fight in October, and the Not the Skill Challenge Promotions Company, which was the initiator of this idea, began to organize such big fights. We are not giving up, this is one of the biggest fights in the heavyweight division, Hiron said. Therefore, we can hold it elsewhere, but we have a proposal that we have agreed on, and we want to continue working on it, but sooner or later we will have to back down. It would be very interesting for me to have this fight in Las Vegas or at Wembley. I think it would be incredible. According to Hearn, Joshua can fight in December and Wilder in November. I mentioned a couple of names, Filip Hargovic and Andy Ruiz, but the answer is I don't know, because we were only focused on Wilder, he didn't say it of Joshua's opponent for the fight in December. Wilder seems to be planning to enter the ring in November, and I understand him, because he has the boxer for a long time. We will see what happens next, he didn't say it. Deontay Wilder's trainer Malik Scott expressed concern that his 37 years old word has not yet entered the ring this year and the expectation of a fight against Anthony Joshua. 
which is scheduled to be held in Saudi Arabia, seems to be delayed. It's a real disappointment because for me, Deante, the others are not interesting to me. Myth is the opportunity to return to the ring. There are a lot of promises, but it looks like their fulfillment is beginning to be broken. But we will see, Scott said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.